Hey, I wanted to do a review on the Umbrel full node. Um, yeah, this is a great way to run a full node yourself. It's very, very simple to install, very easy to use with a very clean interface. And we'll go through all the yeah options and have a look around. So when you first get to your node, once it's installed, you'll be greeted with the welcome page and just log in with your email ad or with your password, which I almost always have logged in. And then from there, you have all of these apps, which you can get from the app store. Um, there's a bunch of different categories. This app started mostly at, or this platform started as mostly Bitcoin related things, but then it kind of branched out. Now it's a bit of everything open source which is kind of cool and useful, but I only use it personally for Bitcoin related things. So you can click on the Bitcoin tab and see all of the Bitcoin related apps. Ones I most commonly use, Bitcoin node, get your full node, uh, Bitfeed, super cool mempool uh, explorer. Um, I do use the some of the lightning apps and they're they're all kind of, similar with different functionality you can play around with them and see whatever ones you like the most lightning node uh this is the one you have to install to actually run the lightning node um but yes it's a full bitcoin and lightning node in one um mempool this is the same as mempool.space we'll go through that i have it installed ln markets is super cool it's a decentralized uh market for trading on lightning network um but yeah let's go back home here and go through some of these uh apps that i have installed so first if i click on the bitcoin node this is the full node fully synced and as you can see it's just give it one second to load up here while it's doing that um so you can run this well here's the website you download it install it completely free it will install on almost anything uh well any linux operating system um or you can run it as an operating system all by itself uh i have mine installed on linux mint so linux mint i have and then inside of that i have yeah umbrella installed you just click here download the copy this is where you would install it on a Raspberry, a Raspberry Pi. I have mine actually installed on one of these. They are not that much more than a Raspberry Pi, B-Link, um, little tiny mini computers, and they're actually very powerful. Um, I actually liked it so much. I got all of my kids one, put Linux Mint on it. They use it to play Minecraft and a bunch of other games, uh, browse the internet. They had full-size computers before. This thing is way faster and is definitely a lot faster than a Raspberry Pi. So um, yeah, just make sure there's like a million of these different models and makes. Um, they start at like $150 and go up to like a thousand. Um, you don't need anything like super powerful. This is actually a very strong uh, mini PC. You just want to make sure with the hard drive size, you get at least one terabit or the whole Bitcoin blockchain won't fit on the hard drive. So you need at least one terabyte to install the Bitcoin full node. And then, yeah, you can get that at Amazon. If you want to take a look here, if we go back, let's see, the V-Link store, they have just like a ton of different like models of these mini pcs and price range goes from like super cheap to rather pricey but you don't need anything too powerful even these cheaper ones are much much faster and stronger than raspberry pi but yeah i actually have that one that i showed you first that's the one that i'm currently running right here okay so here is the bitcoin full node um completely synced 
last block came in 20 minutes ago before that 23 minutes ago as you can see the amount of transactions included in each block connected to 10 peers mempool size hash rate blockchain size again blockchain size right now is 620 gigabytes that's why you need that one terabyte hard drive um, that's just the blockchain once you install apps on here the actual operating system it grows to be a lot bigger than that so yeah a terabyte i have found to be a good amount of space unless you want to like actually download other things and use this for more than just a bitcoin node then you can go with a bigger hard drive or you can go with a uh, usb hard drive extended and you could put the blockchain on that but yeah that's just how i have mine set up currently just with the one terabyte hard drive anyway so back here this is where you get the umbrella os software and as you can see there's a bunch of different apps lightning full node and yeah click on install now um mine is installed over linux mint so this is the one i used to install it here's the minimum requirements for what you how powerful your system needs to be to install it on there um, if you want to go with a raspberry pi has to be Raspberry Pi 4. And again, here are the requirements. And if you click on how to install, it'll walk you through everything very, very easy. Step two, step one is get the Raspberry. Step two, get the operating system. Step three, you burn it to a micro SD card and then plug it in and you install Raspberry or you install Umbrella as the operating system on the Raspberry Pi way I do it, install Linux Mint first, and then run this command right here to install Umbrella on top of Linux Mint. And that's basically those things. Now let's go check out some other apps. Here is Bitfeed, a block explorer. Super cool. Literally super cool. Um, that's what it looks like as the blocks come in. You can scroll over each one and look at each individual transaction the size of the block represents how big the transaction is and then if you actually click on one you can go to it and it will give you the details and then if you close this out it will appear it will fall and build a new block and that'll take a second as it syncs up but while that's doing that let's go back to here is the uh, traditional open source bitcoin explorer um again uh, if you want to look up a transaction you would enter transaction details in here like if we ah should go back we can grab this transaction id right here paste it in and yeah, we can see the details of the transaction as it's just a basic block explorer, but it's your own block explorer. So you're not using anyone else's website and you're browsing your own Bitcoin full node. So you don't have to trust any other node. And sometimes when you go to the other nodes or the other websites, they actually log IP addresses and keep track of what Bitcoin addresses you're looking at and logging those things, trying to build a profile on people. Don't run into that issue at all if you're browsing your own node, it's completely private. So let's go to the next app. Um, let's see what else I got in here. Here's the Bitcoin Lightning node. And let this load here. And as you can see, here's the Bitcoin wallet that I have lightning wallet i have i actually have no satoshis in it at the moment um i had withdrew them all earlier well four months ago now but yeah um i don't use my lightning wallet obviously as i did for a while but yeah i found it 
just I don't really transact very much. I kind of just buy and hold Bitcoin. Um, so for me, the Lightning wallet didn't do too much. It is cool, though, to contribute to the network. And let's see what else we got here. Here's mempool, same as mempool.space, where it's just another block explorer. You can view all the details, put your Bitcoin address in here or transaction ID, and explore in a different format. And yeah, just another block explorer. And you can see the blocks coming in. This one will come in in about nine minutes, 19 minutes, 28 minutes. These are the ones that came in already 28 minutes ago, 31 minutes ago, 34 minutes ago, the size. And yeah, you can oh see the um, sats for VBite, uh, the fee for the transaction to process it, the average fees. Um, and then a bunch of other, again, the fees right here. And a bunch of other details about the block. And the pool that mined it. And yes. Go back here. This is a Lightning app, which on this computer, I'm actually logged into my node from my main computer. I can log into it from any computer on my network. Um, so to record the video, I'm logged in locally, but not at the computer that has the password. So yes. And then, yeah, that's basically that. Um, you can install any number of apps. There's a ton of different ones. Uh, finance, media, networking apps social apps, home and automation apps, AI apps, developer tools, files and productivity, discover tab. So yeah, that's basically that. Um, we can, you can customize your Umbrel node, change the background if you'd like. Um, go to the settings here. So telling you how much storage is left on your node or on your disk, uh, the RAM used. Um, you can shut it down here, restart it here, troubleshoot it here. Here's where you would update it. And you can access it via Tor as well. So if you're out and you want to access your node from your phone or a different device, you could use the Tor, net or Tor network. You got light mode, dark mode, and that's basically the Umbrel node. So I hope you've enjoyed this review and it was helpful. Thank you for watching.